Hi guys. Sorry. Hi guys. So unfortunately, um, my Nikon camera died, um, and I don't have any batteries for it, and it's snowing, like blizzarding outside. So of course, I'm not gonna go to the store and grab batteries and risk my life just to do a YouTube video. I mean, I love doing YouTube videos, but unfortunately, it's not risking. It's not. Um, it's not worth risking my life. <laughs> Anyways, so I just wanted to do a video. I'm doing it on my MacBook Air, so it might be a little ugly. And excuse Madison. Anyways, as I was saying, excuse Madison. She's being a crybaby right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. This child. Anyway, so my story time video is going to be how I found out I was pregnant and how I told Josh and my parents. So, sorry, I'm like looking at my hair because it looks really nice right now. Anyways, how I found out I was pregnant was, um, of course, I did not get my period, which was weird because my period is usually on time all the time. It was always on time, like, it was never late, it was always on the 27th, I remember, I remember now, it was always on the 27th. Um, anyways, Josh was all like, oh, it was two days past, and I was like, ah, I'm not gonna say anything yet. Four days passed, and I was like, hey Josh, you still haven't got my period, I was supposed to get it four days ago, and then he was all like, um, what do you say? He was like, oh, I doubt you're pregnant, blah, blah, blah. Because a couple months before that, I thought I was pregnant then just because, like, my period was a little weird. Anyways, um, so we're like, yeah, we'll just wait, okay? So we waited about maybe um, another week. Another week passed by, and I was like, okay, I'm just going to take the pregnancy test. And in my head, I'm telling myself, I'm not pregnant, I can't be pregnant. I'll cry and die if I'm pregnant. <laughs> um, like, my thought process was I'm jumping off a bridge. Like, I know a lot of you guys, girls will not admit that, but I'm pretty sure that goes through your fucking head because that's what went through my head. Um, anyways, I was like, if I'm pregnant, I am def definitely jumping off a bridge. I was like, I can't be a mom. I'm too young. You know, I wanted to wait until after I was 21. So then I go to the dollar store, and I was like, I'm just going to grab a test. Who cares? Like, is going to come out negative anyways. So then I take the test and I just set it down in the bathroom. I walk to the room and I just start watching the movie with Josh. And then I was like, mm, 30 minutes passed by. I was like, okay, I'm going to go look and see if it came out, if the results came out. So then I go into the bathroom and I flip it over and I'm like, I just start, like, I don't start crying or anything. I'm just like, like, is this happening? <laughs> So then I walk to the room, and then I just start crying, and I was like, I'm pregnant, and Josh is like, just starts laughing, and not laughing like, ha ha ha, I think it was more of a like nervous laugh, because, I mean, she, I was crying, him, the way he handled it, he was like laughing, but it was like, because he was nervous, and he's like, I knew you were pregnant, I told you you were pregnant, and then I just started crying and crying and crying. And I was like, I can't have a baby. I'm too young. I was like, how am I going to tell my mom and dad? They're going to be so mad at me. So I'm just like crying and crying and crying. And then I was like, we're not keeping it. I was like, we can't keep it. I was like, nope, I am too young. I can't have a baby. Um. So then me and Josh were like, Josh was like, well, let's think about it. And I was like, okay, I'm willing to think about it. I was like, but I'm going to give her up for adoption. Sorry, Maddie. Um, I was like, I'm going to give her up for adoption. I was like, I'm not going to have an abortion because I feel like that's kind of messed up. Like, why not give her to someone who will, you know, who wants to have a kid and can't. So that's what my whole thought process was. And then I was like, okay, I'm not going to tell my mom yet. Because my mom's like me. If you tell us something, we'll go tell everybody. <laughs> like, I could, I could admit that. Like, if you tell me something, I won't go tell everybody, but... Depending on what the situation is, but I will, I'll tell somebody. Yeah, that's just how I am. 
So I was like, okay. So I go to work the night, and I just got a brand new job at a newspaper as a classified sales agent. So I got to de design the newspaper layouts and put in ads. Um, so I just got a brand new job, you know, and I was like, this is a career. I'm going to stay in Oklahoma forever, you know. That's what my whole thing was. That's another reason why I was freaking out. I was like, I just got a brand new job, and they literally hired me on because someone else was going on maternity leave. So then I was just so upset. I was like, how am I going to tell my work? And then literally the next day, I kid you not, I started getting morning sickness. Like, it was freaking weird. The moment I found out is the moment I started getting morning sickness. Um, I started, like, puking all the time. My stomach was hurting. Like, my stomach would hurt 24-7, and I would puke in the morning or in the night, depending. So then a week passed by, and I was like, okay, I'm just going to tell my mom. Because I tell her everything. Like, I literally would tell her everything. So I was like, hi, mom. So, so nervous. I was so nervous. I was like, I was like kind of shaky a little bit. I was having really bad anxiety. I was like, I have to tell you something. And she's like, what is it? And then I was like, she's like, you're pregnant. And I was like, yes. And she's like, oh, my God. Yay. I hope it's a boy. And I was like, but we don't know if we want to keep the baby yet. We, I think I want to give it up for adoption. So, I feel like this certain situation, my mom wouldn't have told my dad so soon. But I think because she, she knew the feel, like how I was feeling and that I was like seriously thinking of adoption. Which I'm so glad I didn't because I love Madison with all my heart. Like all that I am, I love her so much. So I'm glad I never did that. Um, but, so I think because she didn't want me to um, do that. Because I was like, I spoke highly of that option. So, she, I was like, you can't tell dad. And she's, I was like, I don't want to tell him if I don't know what I'm doing yet. And then she's like, okay, I won't, I won't. And I was like, okay. So then we kind of were just like talking for a little bit, you know, and I was crying on the phone and saying how my life is over and blah, blah, blah. So then she hangs up. And then I get a call from my dad five minutes later, literally five minutes after I got off the phone. She calls my dad. I was like, Okay. So then my dad's like, hi, Sonia, how are you? I'm like, what? I already knew he knew because he never, like, just jumped into conversation like that. He's like, so your mom told me you wanted to tell me something. And I was like, no, I was going to tell you something, but I forgot what it was. And he's like, okay. <laughs> then I hang up the phone. I call my mom. And I was like, did you tell dad I'm pregnant? And she's all like, uh. she's like, yeah, here's your dad. And I was like, seriously so then my dad goes on the phone and he's like Sonia I think all children are blessings I already know you're pregnant your mom told me I was like obviously me um he's like children are blessings you know um you should have thought about it twice before using like you should have used protection and um you should have thought about that before so it's not the baby's fault like you shouldn't give her up just because you decided to be irresponsible he kind of what was messed up about the whole situation, though, is I expected my parents, what I wanted, what I thought they would react, I wanted them to yell at me and tell me, like, you can't have this baby or, you know, you're making a mistake. But they didn't. They were supportive. Like, and my parents are usually, like, sh like my parents are strict. So I was thinking, like, they were going to yell at me and be like, Sonia, you, you're too young, blah, blah, blah. They did the exact opposite. They did the exact opposite. So then I was like, okay, I was like, yeah, I'll keep her, just, well, keep the baby, because I didn't know, obviously, if it was a boy or girl yet, and I didn't even know how far along it was. I was like, yeah, I'll keep the baby, just to shut them up and leave me alone. I was like, but don't tell anyone yet, because I still need something to do. And then, and then my mom decides to go tell my sister Hillary, Hillary, and my sister Monique, and my sister Jackie, Jackie calls me crying because I'm really close to Jackie. So Jackie calls me crying. She's like, oh, my God, you're pregnant. And I was like, yes. And then I was like, Tell Jackie, throughout the whole experience, Jackie was the only one that was really understanding of what I wanted. Like, she was the only, she was actually, like, everyone said, do what you want. Do what you feel is right. But in reality, they were like, keep this baby. Like, you have no option type of thing. Like, they were telling me to do what I felt was right, but they were like saying like I need to have this baby basically like 
I mean, I love my parents. I'm glad they, like, convinced me into having Madison. Like, I'm so thankful for it. But they weren't really as, like, I really didn't have a choice in the matter, honestly. Like, I did have a choice with my body. But, like, really, do you know how many people I'd upset? So, throughout the whole experience, Jackie was the only one that was actually understanding. Was, like, Sonia, like, who cares what anyone says? If you don't want to have a baby, don't have a baby. Like, she's like, it's your life. You're the one that's going to be providing for this child. I'm going to bring Madison in. So they were like, you're the one that's going to be providing for this child. And then, so she said that. And then I was like, okay, yeah, you're right. Like, she was the only one that was really supportive. Um, and then, ooh, piggy. So then me and Josh, so Josh was like, yeah, it's going to be a boy. And I was like, it's not going to be a boy. And then after, so he calls his mom and he's like, so mom, we haven't even told his mom yet. You know, we didn't tell her anything yet because we weren't sure of what we were doing. Um, so he's like, hey, mom, um, so is it up to the girl or the boy on whether or not you have a girl or boy? Like, is it up to the guy's stuff or the girl's stuff? And then the mom's like, oh, it's up to the guy stuff. Why? Am I going to be a grandma? Am I having a grandbaby? Like, she just got, like, so emotional and stuff. And then me and Josh were like, <laughs> we started laughing because we are like, oh, fuck, we can't, I can't believe we just put ourselves in this position. Like, I love her so much. I was like, we're like, oh, I can't believe we just put ourselves in this position. And we're like, wow. Well, Josh was like, well, Sonia is pregnant, but she hasn't decided what she wanted to do what she wants to do and then Josh's mom was like she was really supportive of the whole situation too she's like you know what sweetie it's whatever you want and she's like it's whatever you want and whatever you feel is right she was like well, I'll stand by your side the whole time she's like but I would really love to be a grandma so I was like dang it so then um the next person I told, well, the next person, okay, so all this happened or whatever, so then I just decided, I told my work, because I was missing a lot of work, and I didn't want them to think, like, wow, you just started, and you're just going to start missing all, this, all of a sudden, so then I go to my work, and I tell them, like, you know what, I'm sorry, but I'm pregnant, like, I, I swear up and down, I did not mean to get pregnant, like, I didn't know that I was pregnant when I got hired onto this job. And then throughout that whole experience, I felt like my work kind of, like, hated me because they chose me over someone who wasn't pregnant. And I feel like they were kind of, like, already irritated with, like, really, you're pregnant and we just hired you. Like, we just put somebody on maternity leave and you're pregnant now. So, <laughs> Madison, hi. So, I felt like they were kind of, like, irritated with me throughout the whole experience. Anyways, um, so what happened after that? Then I go to Colorado for the weekend. My sister, Hillary. <laughs> Hillary, if you're watching this, I'm telling your story. <laughs> My sister, Hillary, goes, oh, calls me before I'm about to leave back to Oklahoma. She's like, Sonia, I just wanted to let, tell you something. I was like, what? And she's like, I'm pregnant, too. And I was like, oh, really? When are you due? And then she's like, okay, uh, my original due date was September 2nd. And she's like, September 7th, but I'm getting induced on the 2nd. I was like, what? That was so crazy and so unexpected. So it was pretty awesome because Madison and Charlotte are going to be close now. As a time during my pregnancy, you know how pregnant girls are. They're just emotional. And I was kind of like jealous. I was just like, man. But look, at, they're going to be so close. And I'm actually really excited that Hillary got pregnant too. That's so crazy. Like the same time. So, I wonder what was in the water around then. Then, all of a sudden, everyone starts getting pregnant and popping out babies and stuff. So, yeah, that's what happened. That is how I found out I was pregnant with this beautiful baby and how I told my parents and Josh. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Here, Maddie, give a thumbs up. Give a thumbs up for this video. Um, and be sure to check out my other videos. I hope you guys liked it. Sorry if the quality sucks. It's because, you know, I have my batteries for my camera and I'm not trying to risk my life. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching and please comment, like, and subscribe. Bye. Say bye to everyone, Maddie.
She's grumpy.